All right, today in class we started to look at dividing, and one thing we looked at was partial quotients. And we didn't really talk about it being partial quotients, but um, breaking down the division problem into smaller pieces so it's easier for us to do either mentally or just even on paper. So I wanted to do a couple examples so you would um, be able to practice it at home. Um, let's do a problem. Let's see. About 345 divided by, we'll say 15. We'll start off with an easy one. Equals something. So what you want to do is you kind of want to come up with something that's easy to divide by 15. And 345 you may be able to do, um, but most likely you can't do mentally. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up with something that you can divide um, by 15 pretty easy. And in this case, I would pick, let me grab a different color real quick. I would actually do 300 divided by 15 because I know that that is going to be 20. Now, some of you may not be able to see that. Um, the way I do that is I cover up my zero. So I cover up my zero and I figure... 15 goes into 30 two times, and then it goes into the zero, zero times. So that's where I get my 20. Um, let's see if I can erase that real quick. Sorry. Okay. Um, you could have also done 150 divided by 15, and that would have gotten you 10, and you could have gone from there. So now I've done 300 of my 345. So that's part of it, and I have 45 left over. So I'm going to go ahead and do 45 divided by 15. And we get lucky here. There's not going to be a remainder. Uh, 15 does go into 45 three times with nothing left over. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add, trying to find, trying to find this block right here. I'm going to add my 20 and 3. So 345 divided by 15 is going to be 23. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and give you a problem to work on. If you would, um, once I put it up, pause the video, and then we can show you how to do it. So let me write out a problem real quick. Okay, so you have a problem, 215 divided by 12. Uh, now that this is up, go ahead and pause the video, and you try it using partial quotients, and then I'll show you how to do it. All right, so 215 divided by 12. Again, I'm going to pick something easy to divide by 12. And this time, I'm going to go ahead and just pick 120. 120 divided by 12 should be pretty easy for us now. That's going to be 10. Now, I can look for another 120 to take away from 215, but I know that I have 95 left. So one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do 60 divided by 12 because that's going to give me 5 and then I have 35 left and all I'm doing to figure out these numbers is subtracting from my original number up here so I'm taking 120 or 215 minus 120 which leaves me 95 and then I'm subtracting 60 and now I have 35 left over. 12 goes into 35 two times, which is 24. So we are going to have a remainder of 24 to 35 is going to be a remainder of 9. And then we're going to add up these numbers right here to get our whole number. So 10 plus 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17. So if I did everything correctly, I should have 17 remainder 9. Double check me, I could have gotten it wrong. I hope this helps you tonight.